um, I'm really excited to be here today. I'm normally hidden in the back of IT in my den of developers. Um, I'm our IT project manager, so I look after the development for the online services which you would use to submit your applications, as well as the internal system we use to process applications. Uh, at our last industry session, Renu, our service delivery manager, would have joined you, and normally you would be talking to her team, so Nilma, Divya, and Lisa. Um, Renu's enjoying four months back in India, visiting family at the moment, so I've stepped in to help. Um, if any of you are lucky enough to have me answer your phone call, hopefully that will explain why my answer is, let me check with Lisa. Uh, also joining me today, as you saw earlier, was is our CIO, Jennifer Bardsley, um, so she'll be available for questions at the end and also at the IT drop-in session later. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. So today I'm just going to provide you with a bit of an overview of what we've done on our online services in the last six months since we saw you in May. Um, give you a bit of a feel for the projects that we're working on at the moment and what we're looking to do next. And then a bit of an overview of the customer online feedback that we receive. So here we have a snapshot of the work we've done on our online services in the last six months. Um, I won't go through everything that's up here this afternoon, but if you do have any specific questions, please come along to our drop-in session uh, later this afternoon. Uh, or you'll find all this information is published to our website. If you go to the front page, you'll see there's news and then there's online services. So we regularly update what we're doing on those, those services on that news page. So when we're looking at making changes on our online services, we want to give the changes the uh, priority that have the biggest benefit for you. So we look at the, what we receive through our feedback register. We also look at legislation changes and how we can implement them on our online services, as well as working with those major projects that have been mentioned today. So uh, one that we've worked with a bit this year has been the Lower Regulatory Approaches Project. Uh, as Sharon touched on earlier, one of the things we've looked at is the fast track uh, application system. So for that, we have made some changes to our decision tree, so you can now navigate to an item 8 repack and then indicate that this would be a fast track because you have that same reference product. Um, it's your own product and there's no protected data associated with it. Also with that fast track registration, we have implemented a full fee payment option at the start, uh, so your fees can be paid up front. The other change that we made in alignment with that project was to expand the list of notifiable variations. So now when you go through our decision tree, you'll be able to find that um, extended list and select those ones to take you to, through to a notifiable variation application. So out of that fast track application, um, it was identified that moving a full fee payment option up front for all applications would be really beneficial. Uh, it saves time for us processing and means that we can get you to the evaluation stage a lot quicker. So this is a screenshot at the moment of what you'll be seeing um, over the next couple of months for all applications. So you'll see that they'll become a full fee option um, as well as we've introduced BPAY. So from mid this month, you'll be able to see this for an item 5, 6, 7, 11 and 12 and we'll continue to roll this out across all our application forms throughout the rest of the year. So our next steps for IT are we wanting to continuously improve our services. So as you heard Virginia speak about earlier, we've done the usability review and we're really keen to implement the findings from that. Um, and make changes that will benefit you and that, that you want to see us make through our system. One thing that we've got a lot of feedback from you on is the secure mail service that we use at the moment. Um, it's not particularly user friendly, people don't like it and we've been asked to make some changes. So we're looking at options at the moment on how we can get that into our online services. So you, the same way you'd log into launch an application, you'd be able to find any correspondence that you have with us. Uh, 
uh, another item that we're looking at is for self-service uh, contact detail updating through the portal. So at the moment, if you want to con uh, update you know, your email address, your phone number, you need to come through to your, your case manager um, and have them updated and then you've got to wait for that process for them to get the system up to date. We have some developers at the moment looking at how we can make that available online for you to do yourself. We also know that online label submissions are quite problematic and we have that with a business analyst at the moment looking at what we can do to improve that system. So one big project we have going on at the moment is looking at primary and secondary applications. So we understand that for a while you've been able to submit them to uh, the APVMA but we haven't had an online facility for that. So what we're looking at here is the first design of our primary and secondary applications for online submissions. Um, you'll see on this screen that you've got clearly indicated primary, secondary. It can keep it all in one view. Um, you'll be able to start a secondary application from your primary application, so you won't have to go back through the decision tree. You'll be able to clone your primary application for your secondary application, either selecting all or part of that application, um, and you'll be able to do that for as many secondary applications as you need to. And the system will automatically calculate the fees that you need to pay for all primary and secondary applications together in one place um, and give you again that option to pay up front if you want to proceed um, a little bit quicker with that processing time. So the other thing that my team look after is the customer online feedback. Um, not everything that comes through this online feedback form is for IT, so we monitor what's coming in um, and send it out to the expert areas and then we coordinate their responses back to you. It's really valuable information that we get from you because it alerts us to issues that we might not have known about, um, gives us some really good suggestions on how we can improve. And it lets us know what we're doing well, which is really good, good for the staff. It's a bit of a pat on the back for, you know, please keep going in this direction. Uh, Karina's really interested in this information. We actually report it up to her every month. Um, we let her know how long it's taken for us to respond to you um, and what the outcome was. She then gives us some suggestions on ways that we can improve that. So in the last six months, we've seen a real increase in suggestions that are coming through, um, which is really great because we use these suggestions to be able to make changes and, and improve our processes. Um, some of the things that have come through have actually made changes to IT systems. So one thing that had come through was that when you were lodging an application, you couldn't always see the submitted applications and it was really hard to print them. So we introduced a submitted application view where you can go back and view all of your submitted applications. Um, there's also a PDF version so you can print it or file it as you need to. Something else that we've implemented from suggestions through the feedback re register is application cloning. So this allows you to take a previously submitted application uh, and use that data for a new application of the same type. That's all I've got, so if there's any questions, I'll also...